Hello, I'm Tamara and I like to teach beginner sewing tutorials. So if you are new to sewing and you want to learn how to do a very simple table runner, this is the tutorial for you. A few extra things that would help when sewing your table runner. I love the quarter inch sewing foot because it gives me that perfect guide to follow along the edge of my table runner. You should pre-wash your fabric so you know what measurements you're actually working with. The next thing that you should do is probably buy a cotton fabric. Most fabrics, when you buy it, will come 42 inches from selvage to selvage. So if you want a really long table runner, then buy the length that you desire. However, if you're looking for a smaller table runner, if you only want it to be 42 inches or shorter, then you can buy less fabric you'll just need to buy double the width of your table runner. So those are a few things to note before you get started. Now let's jump into the tutorial and actually sew our table runner. So once you've chosen the length and the width that you want your table runner to be, then you'll take the measurement of the length of your table runner and you'll add one inch for your seam allowance. Then you'll take the width that you want your table runner to be, you'll times that by two because we are going to be folding our fabric in half, and then you will add a half inch to the width and that will account for your seam allowance on that side. Then take your cut piece of fabric and fold it in half right sides together. Then pin around all three raw edges, making sure to mark a section that's around four inches wide that you will not sew across. This four inch section will help you turn your project right side out. Now when you are sewing, remember to backstitch when you start and when you stop, and you will do a half inch seam allowance on all three edges. And just in case you are very new to sewing, I do want to mention that when you come to a corner, you will leave your needle down, you will lift up your presser foot, you will be able to swivel your fabric so that you can put your presser foot back down and sew that next seam along the edge. The next step will be to trim all four corners away. Make sure that you you are trimming away the corners but not the seam that you just sewed. Then if you have a pair of pinking shears I do suggest trimming along all three raw edges. This just stops some extra fraying that can happen but it is not a necessary step. You could also do a zigzag stitch across these edges if you want. Just make sure that that four inch section you leave alone. So don't cut across it with your pinking shears because that'll make it harder for you to fold in afterwards and of course don't zigzag across it because then you won't be able to turn your project right side out. And now it's time to turn the project right side out. Use your finger and just gently push out all four corners and if you need to you could use something like a chopstick to push the corners out a little bit more if you want them to be a bit more crisp. Just do this very gently because you can easily push out that corner if you're not careful. Then it's time to press all four edges. To do this just Gently roll the edges of the seams with your fingers and then press the edge flat. You will also need to take care around the four inch opening and just press those seams in nice and flat and you can pin that opening shut if you would like. And now it's time to sew a quarter inch seam allowance around the entire project. This will close that four inch opening and it's at this point if you do have a quarter inch sewing foot to throw that on there because then you will be able to line the edge of your fabric along the edge of the quarter inch sewing foot and use that as your sewing guide. And of course remember to backstitch when you start and when you stop. Another thing that you can do to make your table runner a little bit extra special is by adding two seams side by side on your table runner. So the first thing that I did was I sewed a quarter inch seam around the entire outer edge. The next thing I did was sewed a second quarter inch seam and I had my sewing foot lined up along the edge of that first seam so that it was an easy thing to follow. I didn't have to draw any lines on the table runner to make that happen. And this is what it'll look like with those two seams side by side. I really do think it adds a nice touch. And that is a very simple table runner. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like beginner sewing tutorials, please hit that subscribe button. I post new beginner sewing tutorials every Friday. So I hope to see you back here. All right, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Happy sewing, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.